Earlier this week, I found out that one of my largest holdings, VT Properties, just announced a 6.4% dividend increase. So today we're going to look at what will that do to my annual income and why dividend increases is one of the best ways to just grow your annual dividend income because, well, you don't have to do anything. It's all in the company. So let's talk about that. So this new dividend increase will basically be paid out on October 5th, and that is if you own it before the X dividend date, which is really awesome. Overall, it looks like they increased their annual dividend from $1.56 to a dollar and 66 cents so let's do a quick little analysis of what that's going to do to my dividend income all right so i got a before and after section over here basically how this is set up is it shows the shares the average price current price dividends all this so my shares that's not going to change it's still 146.8 same thing with my average price this is before and after and same thing with the current price but what does change is the annual dividends because well i didn't do anything and they went from paying me a dollar and 56 cents to now paying me $1.66. So that increased my annual dividend income by about $15, and that increases my quarterly dividends by about $4, which is really nice to see. And on top of that, prior to this dividend increase, I was buying about 1.84 shares, assuming if they were at this price right here, but now with the dividend increase, I'm now buying 1.95. So I'm buying almost two shares a quarter or almost eight shares a year, which is really awesome to see. Now, VG Properties is about 12% of my portfolio, so it's my largest individual holding as a stock. It's even larger than Microsoft or JP Morgan and Realty Income for me. So besides VU and SCHD, VG's number one for my stock. So I love to see that dividend increase. It's really nice and it's gonna just help grow that dividend snowball long term. And this increased my annual dividends from $1,037 a year or right around that to 1,051. So now we're averaging about $87 a month. So we're slowly getting there. We're on our journey to $90 average a month, which will be really nice. Now, normally for a lot of my holdings, if they announce a 6% dividend increase, don't get me wrong, I would be pretty happy, but I wouldn't be as excited as I am with Vici. And the reason I'm so excited with Vici is because, well, they have a pretty high dividend yield. So seeing that increase is already really nice. Plus, like I said, they're a large percentage of my portfolio. So they're now gonna be paying me about $243 a year, which is clutch. Compared to a company like, I don't know, let's say Apple or Costco or something, because their dividend's a lot lower, even if they do increase their dividend by a lot, it's not a huge increase in my annual income, which that's totally fine. I plan on growing a lot of these positions over the long term, but when you have a stock that's already kind of high yielding, and they're you know, a pretty large percentage of your dividend income, and then they announce a dividend increase, it's just amazing. So overall, love to see it from Beachy. Doesn't surprise me. I'm really hoping to see that just continue to grow over the long term, but definitely excited to own them. And I think I'm gonna continue to buy some more of them because the REITs are getting beaten down pretty badly right now due to the high interest rate environment. But overall, I'm not worried about them at all. I think them and Realty Income, both their earnings look really good from what I've seen. And until those earnings tell me a different story, I have no reason to be bearish on them. So that's just my take on, you know, Vici increasing the dividend. Overall, love seeing it, love seeing the business continue to grow, and I'm probably going to keep buying. So that's it for me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.